So um, we are TB. Uh, we're a historical 13th generation cutlery manufacturer and we're based in Thiers in France, which has been the capital of knife making for the last four centuries. So um, our air outdoor expertise came 25 years ago when we started uh, making knives for the French military. It started out with this model called the Bivouac, uh, which was the French army wanted something pretty low tech uh, that was lightweight, robust, reliable, and pretty um, inexpensive. So we developed the bivouac knives. They wanted a knife that they could rely on every time they would leave base or they would need to have a meal throughout the day. So yeah, you have your main blade for you know your general cutting task. You have a corkscrew, can opener, bottle opener, and it came. It it comes with a, a pair of cutlery as well that stores directly inside the handle, and that's the. That's the beauty of this model is that you have everything in, in one place and it comes, you know, uh, it comes with a pouch. So in one place you have all your tools that, that you need. So it's got, a, it's got a great history. It's made in France and the beauty of it is that it retails only for $30, which is an amazing price yeah. point for this model. This was in service from 96 to 2001. Uh, then the, the French military wanted to uh, facelift it a little bit and go with a, a little bit more heavy duty construction. So we came up with the Baroudeur, which is the Essentially the same concept, a bit more heavy duty, uh, and then we, we integrated a lino lock in it as well uh, for, for the blade. The blade was enlarged as well. It's like a, a, a more robust Correct. Uh, Swiss Army knife, kind of, for, for some of the models. That's a great way to, it's a great way to put Obviously it. Obviously larger and more durable. For sure. It still comes with the, the flatware, uh, the spoon and the fork, but this time it doesn't integrate directly in, into the handle and it still comes with a carrying pouch uh, that you can attach to the belt, to your vest, backpack, right. whatever have you. And as far as price point, we're looking at $70, um, 70 US dollars retail for, for this model. Okay. And then later on, uh, so this was in service from 2001 to 2017, and started in 2018, they moved to, uh, the French army moved towards something a bit more tactical, uh, which is the model that we have here. It's called CAC, and it stands for Campaign Assistance and Combat. It's a great knife for uh, rescue, for self-defense, but just a great all-around uh, utility knife. Uh, it has this great um, lo uh, bar lock system that you have here. It gives you a fast one-handed operation. It's fully ambidextrous because you have the lever on both sides of the handle. Same with the thumb studs on both sides of the, of the knife. And the, the bell clip is also uh, reversible. You have tons of cool features. You have a, you have a strap cutter, a glass breaker, you have a corkscrew, wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a French knife otherwise. Yeah. And then we have this really uh, neat tightening system right here, the pivot, that allows you to determine exactly how much resistance and tension it takes to open and close the knife. Uh, okay, instead of tightening the pivot, well you can t you tighten the pivot but you lock it in so uh, if it's hard to get in the video, there's kind of like a gear, looks like a gear indentation that you yep. can tighten, then set the screw down to prevent that from backing up. Exactly. Yeah. I couldn't, couldn't have said it better. The secondary screw like locks your setting into place. Yeah. And over time, with vibration and stuff like this, it doesn't, doesn't move one bit. Um, as far as the materials, we have the steel is called nitrox. It's a proprietary nitrogen steel that we developed for the French military. The best way I can put it, it's ultra user friendly and low maintenance. Um, the criteria from the army is that they wanted a steel that um, is obviously sharp, but resharpens easily because their soldiers don't have access to power tools on the field. And that is perfectly resistant to corrosion because they work around, you know, uh, weather, humidity, that kind, of, uh, that kind of environment. So yeah, nitrogen steel was a great response for that. Um, holds an impressive edge, sharpens super easily, and perfect resistance to corrosion. And then regarding the handle, uh, it's called PA6. It's a fiberglass reinforced plastic, and it's extremely lightweight, yet super resistant. And um, yeah, you can feel it for a knife of this caliber, it's surprisingly pretty, pretty lightweight. So it is. Yeah, it's got a nice smooth uh, uh, surface, but yeah. uh, and then, grippy as well. And then another thing we do, if you, uh, if you uh, jiggle a little bit, you can see there's some holes in the liners and we skeletonize, we drill holes uh, right. in the liners to yeah, okay. remove some material and reduce the, reduce the, the, the overall uh, weight. Uh, as far as price points, we're looking at 135 US dollars retail for this model. So it's a lot of knife for this, for, for this, uh, for this product. It's made in France, 100%. And then we have a few different uh, finishes. Nice uh, Damascus version, yeah. 
This one's a limited edition. This is number 14 of, uh, of 20. Um, obviously, it's a bit higher in price points. Yeah, of course. I think we're looking around three, the 350 mark. Uh, but it features all the all the same uh, all the same attributes than the, 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 the original French Army knife. Uh, and then we we offer it in either in straight edge or partially serrated. Right. Yeah. And same with the same with the handle, we have a, a smooth smooth texture and a, a more textured model that you're that you're looking at right now. Awesome. Do you want to do one in French?